Bonnie, why aren't you saying anything? I'm getting into character. Why? All you have to do is say what's on the script. Is improv allowed? What? Improv. Is it allowed? I don't want to sound wooden. Oh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> Mr. Michelini, we have Wait. your... <sighs> Jesus, Phil, what now? It's just, it's just not focused, you know, just, just stay there a sec. That's all. Yeah, well, so does my bank balance. We lost a bit of money last week because of the cock-up you made. I've already said sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't unsquish the cat, does it? Mittens. What? The cat was called Mittens. So? So, I'm just saying. So? Is. What's your point? Hey, I'm just trying to make a friendly conversation. You don't have to be such a stiff about it. <laughs> Why do we do what we do? Because we're borderline alcoholics? No. Well, yeah. What I mean is, why are we so bloody content with fixing washing machines? People need washing machines. But why? Well, if we didn't have washing machines, then, you know, we wouldn't have clean clothes. And if we didn't have clean clothes, we'd want to buy new ones all the time. Then... Bell! <sighs> What's up with you? I feel like a guinea pig. Don't be silly, guinea pigs don't drink. Are you going to tell me why you got a face like a slapped ass or what? We get paid peanuts for a job that we don't even like. We're never going to amount to anything special. What do you mean I won the egg and spoon race at the company picnic last week? Oh, so that's what you plan on telling girls when you try to pull them? What do you mean try? What if we're doing this job until we retire? Okay, fine for the rest of my life. I can deal with that. I can't. I despise this job. All we do is build washing machines. And we're not even trusted to do that. But if you don't like it so much, why don't you do something else? Like what? I'm not as like you're going to walk into a job as a film director or something. I will have my chance of being a big shot a long time ago. I'm going home. I'm tired as dicks. All right. I wanted a glass of juice, not the... I was going to say earlier, but you look like a sack of shit. Oh, thanks, Phil. You're such a charmer, seriously. I forgot to um, turn on the washing machine. Oh, hurry up. Sorry. Bonnie, might want to come up here.
He's dead. Definitely dead. Andrew McLeany, he's that, that chef off the telly. Well, he's not anymore, is he? What do you mean? Well, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly sure you have to be alive to all that chef stuff, you know? What? I know what we're going to do. Great, I'll call the police then. What? No! What? Don't you see, this is our opportunity to make something of ourselves. Eh? He's a TV chef. He's bound to be rich, which means his family will be rich too. What if... What if he... didn't have to be dead? Have you lost it? Have you completely lost it? But listen, what if he was still alive and we kidnapped him? We could get ransom money off his family. We, we'd clean up. This is an opportunity. Oh, is it? Because I've been looking at this for a while now and I'm fairly sure all it is is a dead body. Whatever you think, we at least need to move him because to any copper, we'd be prime suspects for murder because oh, we need gloves. Well, excuse me for coughing, but he stinks. Yeah, put these on. It says 24 hour protection. Just put him on the chair. Then where will I sit? Nowhere. We're going to make a movie. This is a message for the Michelini family. We have your son. As stated, our demands are simple. We want £500,000 in notes. But not in £50 notes because the pub doesn't take those. Deliver the money to Humdrum Washing Machine Repairs. We don't work there for anything. We hijack their premises. Fearless comply, but um, result in um, <clears throat> we we wait your response. Wow, I sound terrifying. No wonder I can't get any. <laughs> as soon as I post this, the ball's in their sack. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> Jeez, Bonnie, I'm freezing my tits off here. It's not that bad. Bloody hell, you think the fat would keep you warm? You calling me fat? Are you saying you're not? <laughs> Big bone. Yeah, well, unless your bones are made out of jelly, I highly doubt it.
someone's, uh, someone's here. Yeah, Clem. How do you know? I thought this through. I sent a note with the disc. So if we play the song, we'll know it's done. So we're just skipping the pleasantries. You know what? That is just plain ignorance. Do you realize how much trouble it took us to get here? <laughs> oh, careful, man. You don't want to get friction burns on him, though. Friction burn? He's dead, Phil. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. To me. Shut up, Phil! Dead? What do you mean, he's dead? What? You just said he's dead. No, oh, no, no, I didn't. Did I, Phil? No, no. I distinctly heard you say that you were dragging him around the streets. You had his head, you had his legs. And you distinctly said the words, he's dead. No, no, that's uh, some, some other <laughs> dead body. gonna find us here. Just, just let me, you know. That guy looked pretty smart, didn't he? Like, you know, like all them mob bosses off TV. Shit, Phil, give me your phone. No, I'm playing, playing Angry Birds. Just leave me alone. Oh, are you fucking getting me? Give me your phone. We played it. I was one pig away, man. Jesus. Shit. 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 Look, if it's, Shit. If it's the pawn, I can explain. I was lonely and. Uh... Andrew McLeany is a TV chef. He is the nephew of a mob boss. Well, that's not good, is it? No, Phil, that's not good. Well, maybe you've forgotten confused with that Giorgio De Campio, you know? He says tortellini a lot. In hindsight, it was an easy mistake to make. Oh my 
my god, we are so dead. What are we gonna do? We're, we're gonna have to get out of here. In this state, I'm not getting anywhere. Secondly, I didn't want to be anywhere in the first place. What do you mean? I mean, it was your idea to kidnap this guy in the first place. I wanted to report a dead body like any normal person would. You got yourself into this mess and I don't want to be part of it anymore. Phil, we're a team. Really? Because, you know, none of what's happened in the past three days has screamed we're a team to me. You've made a lot of stupid decisions and I was just as stupid to go along with them. If they don't do it first, I'll kill you. <laughs> My life's over. Okay. You said none of what's happened's been a team thing. Well, I guess that needs to change. <laughs> Friend the police. Tell us one's about to kill themselves in the middle of Chinatown. You're not, are you? No, of course I'm not. But I don't think that your brain can comprehend everything that we've... Well, everything that I've done. Phone them and then get out of here. Leave, lay low for a while. They want me, they don't want you. Just go, please. Okay. Fist me. Come on. It's the last you could be seen with you for a while. The least you could do is fist me. I love you, man. Please, please.